you know, the reality is that the way we are handling our natural resources, and I even hate calling them resources because the whole idea of resources makes it uh, into something that you can exploit. Uh, what we are doing right now is just disastrous. I mean, there's just no other word that you can use for it. I mean, they're now, they've opened up the Hasdeo Aran forest. You know, one of the last bits of primary forest uh, in India, this is a part of Chhattisgarh. They're opening up uh, to massive uh, coal mining. Uh, in Meghalaya, uh, uranium mining, which is actually killing people. I mean, if you look around our country right now, it's like a, there's, there's kind of a sort of explosion uh, of the extractive uh, industries. It's very clear that it's going to lead to many, many people being displaced, many people losing their livelihoods. They are losing all our, our natural gifts. And all for what? I mean, just to make a few people rich, a few very rich, already very rich uh, uh, corporates, mm. even richer. You know, the government will never do anything which is against corporate interests unless there's a big public outcry. You know, those public outcries have happened and they have helped. The Niyamgiri uh, protests uh, in Orissa were very effective. They managed to actually uh, push back against corporate interests. The Supreme Court ultimately recognized their mountain was actually sacred to them. Yes, I think people, if they protest, if they go out in the street, uh, if they really resist, yes. Uh, uh, I'm kind of a bit uh, hesitant to even approach that question because really, uh, especially climate change, is very much a collective problem. You know, it has to be addressed at a collective level, at a global level. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, individually speaking, if we make cuts, if we live in a more thoughtful way, uh, if we try not to waste, because I, I do think that's one of the biggest problems today, just wasted, wasted of energy, wasted of energy. So all of those areas, you know, we can be very much more attentive. The environment is not something separate. It's not something outside human life. A lot of what happens to the environment happens because of human conflicts. You know, and it's important not to lose sight of that because the environment isn't just us interacting with, uh, you know, mountains or trees or forests. A lot of it has to do with how we interact with each other, uh, politically speaking, you know, and, uh, you know, the inequalities, uh, the conflicts, all of that, uh, you know, has uh, that has repercussions for the environment.